In life, we visit a lot of different kinds of buildings, from chapels to auditoriums, and the acoustics in these buildings are very different. But can that affect the way we hear? To explain, I'm here with audiologist Dr. Danny Genevico. And so tell me more about this. Well, over the sessions that we've done in the past, we've talked about all kinds of things that affect people understanding. Uh, and of course, that's the bottom line when we don't communicate well. We've talked about noise and hearing loss and all kinds of things. But is there any uh, truth to the fact that acoustics are different in different places and affect it? I, I think that, that it is. Uh, I have patients from time to time come in and say, you know, I can do pretty well when I'm face to face, but you know, I've got this uh, den and we've got cathedral ceilings and mm -hmm. hard floors and I really have trouble understanding in that type of an environment. So. Uh, there is a concept called reverberation. Now reverberation is kind of like echo. It's sound bouncing around. Echo means it takes a little longer. Reverberation means it's a little shorter. Now is reverberation bad? Well, it just depends. If you're uh, playing your electric guitar and you want to sound really great, you just switch the reverb on and it sounds good. Uh, if you uh, are singing in the shower. My singing always sounds better because I like that little echo effect. Uh, if you're visiting a large building, maybe traveling in Europe in a cathedral and you have all of the echoing sounds, it just has a really nice sound to it. Uh, a few years ago, I was in a large cathedral in uh, England and it just so happens that that day they had a choir there that were recording and it sounded beautiful, except I couldn't understand what they were saying. Uh -huh. So reverberation can have an effect on your ability to understand words. If the sound bouncing back uh, is a, a long type of a, of a reflection, then you tend to have more effect on understanding. If it's a short reflection, like less than a half a second, or for you science geeks, less than 500 milliseconds, it doesn't affect it much. But the bouncing sound can have some masking effect on certain speech sounds. And so the more echo you have, the worse it is. Things that affect echo, things that affect reverberation, the size of the room, the bigger it is, the more likely to have reverberation. The texture, if you have hard stone walls, if you have uh, sheetrock or you have cabinetry, things like that, you get more reflection. So in a room that has less of those reflective surfaces, you have less of a problem. In this room here, for example, we see hearing impaired people the whole time. I designed the room to have acoustical tile on the top, carpet on the floor, carpet on one wall. Oh, cool even though there's a hard surface on this side. So it minimizes the amount of reverberation and so people are able to understand better. So are you gonna understand better in your living room with padded furniture and drapes and uh, padded sofa? Yes, if you go to your kitchen where everything is hard, it's a real problem because sounds are reflecting. It's not as big a problem if you have normal hearing, but if you have a hearing loss, it can be an issue. So if you've got a hearing loss and you are in your den and everything is reflecting because the ceilings are high and your wife's trying to tell you something <laughs> and you really want to hear her, go to the living room. But if you don't want to hear her, <laughs> just smile and nod. <laughs> And to get more information, give Audiology Hearing Aids Associates a call. In Lynchburg, you can reach them at 434-528-4245 in the Danville area at 434-799-6288. You can also find out more online at digitalhearingforyou.com.